Now that the interface for the EXS is open, the first thing you're going to want to do is to load a sampler instrument. There are a few ways to access sampler instruments in Logic depending on the workflow. The most straightforward approach is to click on the sampler instrument field located at the top of the EXS interface and choose from the menu that appears. As you can see, there is a large amount of instruments that come installed with Logic Pro. If for some reason you don't see this list, it could be that you've previously created some of your own sampler instruments. In this case, you should still see this list within the folder labeled Factory. Especially handy when rummaging through large collections, Logic Pro 8's new library makes it easy to both locate and load sampler instruments. The library displays content contextually, so make sure that the EXS is highlighted within the channel strip first, by clicking on it when necessary. With the EXS receiving focus in this way, you can now select from the library's menu trees. I'm going to start off by choosing a drum kit sampler instrument. As soon as I've made my selection, a status window appears indicating that the samples are being loaded into the computer's RAM. When the progress bar is finished, I can now go ahead and play the instrument. Browsing through the library isn't the only way of selecting a sampler instrument. The library also contains a dedicated search field. Here I can enter any text string for my search. I'm going to enter Bass. When I hit the Enter key, I receive a listing of folders and sampler instruments that have the word Bass within the name. I'm now going to select one of the Bass instruments found, Bass plus SQ. Notice that when I load the new sampler instrument, most of the playback parameters change on the EXS interface. There are different filter, modulation, and other settings that differ from the drum kit that I had up previously. This is because each sampler instrument can have its own set of dedicated playback parameter settings that can be saved with it. So if I were to make any changes to the playback parameters like adjusting the filter, I can always recall the default settings for the instrument quite easily. You do this by clicking the Options button on the right side of the EXS interface and selecting Recall Settings from Instrument. The EXS also has some handy built-in functions for changing sampler instruments. One of the easiest ways to do this is by clicking on the plus and minus buttons on the side of the sampler instrument field. You can also change sampler instruments via a MIDI command, set up within the Options menu under Preferences. There is an area down at the bottom that allows you to assign MIDI commands to previous and next instrument. This is handy when you want to change sampler instruments using a remote MIDI keyboard controller during performance. Just like virtually all functions within Logic, you can access the next and previous instrument functions via key commands. If you type in EXS in the search field of the key commands window, you'll see an associated list of commands appear. I'm going to assign next and previous instrument to two different key commands that I can use later. As you can see, this allows efficient toggling between sampler instruments.